guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking the MRS over to the dyno at Intech Racing to go ahead and get the car tuned. So currently the car is running uh, whatever map Joe had on the car um, from California. Um, I did send some data logs to PanicWire or Market PanicWire, the guy who made this uh, ECU setup for the car. Um, he did tell me that the car is running perfectly fine. Um, it could use a little bit of tweaks here and there, so I figured um, why not uh, take it in and just get it all done the right way, uh, get it tuned locally for the gas here and whatever uh, it's like here in Washington. Um, Intec is the same place that tuned my buddy with the Supercharged SC1000 and the 7AGE uh, H6. That was, they, those two cars are both on my channel and both of those haven't blown up yet and they see a lot of track time so I figured why not take it there as well. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead, uh, take the car in. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be filming too much there, but I should be able to get some videos of some pulls there, and then I'm gonna come back here and show you guys the results and a little bit of what went down. Alright guys, so here are the final or the final numbers. Um, looks like peak power is 183, peak torque 127. So that's kind of what I expected uh, being a 1.8 liter, but uh, this is how it looks. Overall looks fairly smooth. You, so the biggest difference that I noticed is I can't feel the crossover even though the sound is there. So what they told me is they maximized the low cam and the high cam. So before the low cam drops in, uh, the high cam kicks, so, but they did it in a way that's very smooth, so you can't even really notice it happen. Um, in the mid-range, they gained about 15 horsepower uh, mid-range, uh, right before lift um, kicks in, so that's good. So that's kind of a lot for a small motor. Um, overall, um, the best part though is that the uh, dyno shop said that the car uh, looked healthy and it looked like it was making consistent power and didn't really have any issues, which is all I really wanted, they said the car should be pretty reliable on track, so yeah, that's going to be the next thing that I'm going to do with the car. So next video will probably be taking this car to Autocross, uh, the old Autocross place that I used to go to, to do a little bit of a shakedown on the car before we take it out to the full track, and then after that we'll go to the track. So 
you find you guys finally can watch this thing back out with me driving and i'm also just as excited as you guys are so anyways guys thank you for watching uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video i know it's probably pretty short but um just thought i'd make a quick video about uh how much power the car made and um yeah the whole process behind it so anyways guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one